Hi, the plane P has equation 2x minus 3y plus 6z is equal to 16. The plane Q is parallel to the plane P and contains the point with position vector 1, I mean i plus 4g plus 2k. Find the equation of Q, giving your answer in the form ax plus by plus cz is equal to d. Now, for this part of the question, this is the plane whose equation is 2x minus 3y plus 6z is equal to 16. Let us say that this is our plane, and this is parallel to another plane. So we need to find the equation of this plane, the one which is parallel to the one with a given equation. Therefore, this one also will have the same Cartesian coordinates. So 2x minus 3y plus 6z is equal to d. Now there is a position vector here. The position vector we are told it is i plus 4j plus 2k. Therefore, a coordinate here was going to be 1, 4, 2. So we're going to replace 2 times 1 minus 3 times 4 plus 6 times 2 is equal to d. So that's going to be 2 minus 12 plus 12 is equal to d, and therefore d is equal to 2. Hence, the equation of plane Q, this was P, Q will have equation um, then... 2x minus 3y plus 6z is equal to 2. First part of the question is done. Now for the second part. <coughs> Calculate the perpendicular distance between P and Q. So we need to find the perpendicular distance between P and Q. So suppose this is the distance between P and Q. Now what is the equation of this plane? It is 2x minus 3y plus 6z is equal to 16. We can say r dot 2 minus 3, 6 is equal to 16. The equation of the second plane is this. So let us call this one pi 1, not pi 1, but it's p, whatever, pi 2. Okay, so r dot 2 minus 3, 6, 2 minus 3, 6, and that's going to equal to 2. What can we see? That both equa I mean, both planes have the same normal vector, 2 minus 3, 6. Now, let us find uh, the normal vector, okay, is equal to 2 minus 3, 6. Therefore, the magnitude of that vector is going to be the square root of 2 to the square plus minus 3 square plus 6 to the square, and that's going to give us the square root of 49, which is 7. Now, because they have the same, and this is uh, 16, all right? So we can say um, that the distance, okay, from the origin to this plane is going to be then six. Uh, so it's going to be. Let us try and see now. Um, sixteen. I can call it d one. So sixteen divided by the magnitude of the normal vector. So sixteen over seven. This is the, the distance from D to the origin. The distance, sorry, the distance from this plane to the origin. The distance from that plane to the origin, let us call it D2, is going to be then um, 2, okay, divide by the magnitude of the normal vector, 2 over 7. This is positive, this is positive, therefore they are on the same side of the uh, origin. It means that the origin might be somewhere there or maybe somewhere down here but they're on the same side of the origin. Both of them are positive. When they're say on the same side of the origin what we do we say d1 minus d2. The distance between the two planes is going to be 16 over 7 minus 2 over 7 which is then 14 over 7 that's going to give us two units. Here we are for the second part of the question. For the third part, the line L is parallel to the plane P and also parallel to the plane with equation uh, x minus 2y plus 2z is equal to 5. Given that L passes through the origin, find a vector equation for L. Okay, now for this part of the question, suppose this is the line. The line passes through the origin. It is parallel to the plane. Uh, the plane is uh, to, to the plane P, 
whose equation we are told is 2x um, minus 3y plus 6z is equal to 16. It is also parallel to another plane. Okay, and that plane has equation um, x minus 2y plus 2z is equal to 5. We need to find the equation of this line. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to use the matrix method here. 2 minus 3, 6. 2 minus 3, 6. 1 minus 2, 2. 1 minus 2, 2. That's going to be equal to... That's going to be equal to... Then... Uh, these matrices. We're going to use uh, the product of their, of their determinant. So plus minus plus. So if we block this, we're going to get minus 3, 6, minus 2, 2. Minus 3, 6, minus 2, 2. Block this one, you're going to get 2, 6, 1, 2. So 2, 6, 1, 2. And block this one, 2 minus 3, minus 2. 2 minus 3, 1 minus 2. 2 minus 3, 1 minus 2. Yeah. So, let's just do the um, determinant. Minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. Minus 6 times minus 2 is minus 12. Minus 6 minus minus 12 is plus 6. So we've got 6x. Minus 2 times 2 is 4. 6 times 1 is 6. 2 minus 6 is minus 4. I mean, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 minus 6 is minus 2, so we got then minus 2, y, plus 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, minus, minus 3 times 1 is minus 3, so minus 4 minus minus 3 is minus 4 plus 3, which is minus um, 1, so minus 1z, and that's going to be equal to d, now if I've got 6x, plus 2y minus z is equal to d. We know that d is equal to 0. Why? Because it passes through the origin. Here the coordinate is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0. So you, if you replace 0 here, you're going to end up with 0. So a vector equation of the line is going to be r is equal to lambda times 6, 2, minus 1. 6, 2, minus 1. And here we are for this question, taken from chapter vectors, I mean vectors 2, A-level maths, HSC, P3.